Dana, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, yeah. So for those of you out in internet world, uh, Dana Underwood is our Director of Product Management. Uh, he leads a daring team of uh, designers and engineers and product people who built our course galleries. And uh, why don't you take the folks through sure. what you've built for yeah. us? Yeah, so you know we're really excited about it. And uh, as you guys know, our audience is always so generous about sharing the ways in which our classes impact them. Um, but until now, we haven't had a way for them to actually share the work that's inspired by those classes. So really, that's what course galleries are all about. Um, and so I want to talk through how to get started. Um, and I'll use myself as an example. You know that uh, I was an audience member. I was watching Creative Live years before I was actually on the team. Right, and, and a working professional photographer yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. His work is amazing. I, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and so, you know, John Gringo's classes have always really inspired me. So, you know, I was able to sit in on one of his travel photography courses. And so the way I'd start is I'd navigate to uh, his travel photography class through our catalog um, because that's where I want to share the inspiration that I got from Creative Live. So you, you took that course, you were inspired by it, and then you went out to, in the world, did some work that you want to associate with that course. Exactly. Great. And so exactly. you go to the course page. That's right. That you had, so you watch travel photography, you go to the course page, exactly. and then you want to start uploading your work. Absolutely. Great. So I'll go to the new student, there's a new link right on the right side called New Student Work, and I'm clicking that link takes me to a section of the page where I can see the nine latest images that have been shared with this course gallery, and I can click to upload my own. So that leads me to a drop down. This is pretty straightforward, but I want to walk everyone through it. I can click upload my work and it'll take me to my finder or my file chooser and I choose that image. It shows up right here and I can do all the basic things. I can crop it exactly how I want it. I can add a title. I can add a description. Lake Como Boathouse. This is something I shot in uh, Italy. And then I can go to add to a community. So we, Rick has talked about I made it. So this is how I actually want to share my image with the iMated community and get it posted to the iMated gallery. Cool. So I can do that right here. And so the iMated gallery is a special gallery mm -hmm. that is uh, the, the kind of the best work that people have done on Creative Live, the things that they're most proud of right. that they want to share with the entire community. Exactly. So just make sure that I understand this. The standard upload, so where, do, where does the image go if you don't click the I made it gallery. If you don't click it, it'll go straight to the gallery that's associated with the course. Gotcha. So yeah. the primary gallery is associated with the course. That's right. And then if you're, so you can upload work in progress, mm -hmm. uh, maybe some assignments that the, you know, or exercises that the instructors suggest that'll just be within that course community. Right. And then if you're really proud of maybe a finished piece of work and you want to share it with the entire Creative Live community, you tag it with I made it. Exactly. Great. Yep. Cool. And then posting, clicking post to gallery will post in both places. I made it and in the student gallery. Cool. So I can see my image here right in the first spot where I like it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and then uh, if I want to see any of these, this is the uh, student, the, the uh, travel photography student work gallery. I can click on the thumbnail and of course I'll click on the thumbnail of my own and see it in all its glory. You know, photographers would love to see it. It's just big and bright. Uh, and on this page now, you know, someone else can come here, show my image a little love by clicking the heart. They can actually comment on it, leave me a comment, um, and they can actually share it to social. That's Facebook, awesome. Twitter, Pinterest, yeah. Um, and once I'm in here, I might browse and click the arrow to browse to the next image, and maybe I come up upon this beauty. I actually love this image. This is taken by our own Kenna Klosterman. Oh, right um, and this is my favorite image of those that she shared from her recent trip to Cuba. And I've already said so by commenting on the image. I've also clicked the heart <laughs> uh, to show her that I like it. I, I would like it three times because I really love this image. <laughs> sure. Um, and then I can also share this to, say, Facebook, for instance, where it will share a thumbnail of the image. Right. It'll credit Kenna. It'll mention the class. And it'll have a little, uh, it'll have a link right back to this page. Great. So then you can share this great piece of work that Kenna did with your community, yeah. bringing more people to Kenna's work and sort of supporting her as a artist and creative. That's right. Awesome. And if I want to support her even more, I can click on her little uh, profile icon in the lower left and go straight to her profile, well, where I can learn, among other things, that she likes mustard on her french fries. <laughs> oh, right on. Um, but then I can also click on any of these thumbnails to see uh, an image uh, right there large on her profile and interact with it in all the same ways. Gotcha. So the sharing starts at the course level. Mm -hmm. You go into a course that you took, uh, you upload an image that is associated with the learning that occurred from that that class, yep. and then uh, it shares to 
that particular gallery. Mm -hmm. If you want to share it with I Made It, you, you can. can. And then it goes to the entire Creative Live gallery. Right. And then it also... It also will appear in your in your profile. In your profile. Exactly. Great. Exactly. And so then you have this record of the learning that takes place yep. over time as you participate in more and more Creative Live classes. Exactly.